In this video, you will learn how not to travel. Traveling happens when you move with the ball without dribbling. It is a violation which is penalized with a turnover to the other team. To make sure you don't travel, be careful in these three situations. When you receive the ball while moving, when you receive the ball while stationary, and when you start dribbling. First situation, when you receive the ball while moving. When you receive the ball, if you take more than two steps without dribbling, you will be called out for traveling. To avoid this, remember to take no more than two steps before releasing the ball for a shot or pass. If you already have one foot on the floor when receiving the ball, you only get one extra step. Second situation, when you receive the ball while stationary. To orientate yourself and protect the ball, you can turn on one foot on the condition that this foot doesn't move. This is called the pivot foot. Once you catch the ball, if you take your pivot foot off the floor or slide it, the referee will call it travel. You may lift your pivot foot to shoot or pass, but you must release the ball before your foot touches the ground again. For information on how to choose your pivot foot, check our video starts and stops. Third situation, starting a dribble. When you start dribbling, if you lift your pivot foot before you dribble, a travel will be called. To avoid this, make sure you release the ball before moving your pivot foot. The traveling rule can be tricky to get used to initially, but it will quickly become natural and you won't even have to think about it. Over to you.